Guess where we're at? There. <laughs> a dumpster. We're at a dumpster. <laughs> no, we're at SeaWorld. Uh, you can't really tell. It's over there. Yeah, they don't really ish. have like a big sign like. Uh, I think it's. Like uh, Disney. Oh yeah, it's not like going into like, Universal. You're in Disneyland. You're right. My it's pants are talking you where to me. To go? It's the like GPS your is destination like... is on the right. <laughs> That's funny. Right? I'm like, oh, my pants are yelling at me, telling me where to go. <laughs> I mean, oh, in 0.2 miles still. Jeez, we're kind of far away. Sea World. We're here. Yay. We did it. There's still no sign that says Sea World. There's just like a There's lighthouse. Like little wavy wateries. Yeah. Where? Oh yeah, there they are. Hey there, Mister. Oh, it looks like a <laughs> shark now. Yeah, this guy's coming over. We'll say hi to him. Hello. I'm a dolphin. Oh, there's a whole bunch coming. Uh oh. What's wrong with this one? He's going so slow. He's bored. Oh, look, they're all under us. Yeah. I wonder what's wrong with him. I don't know. He just doesn't want to come party with these guys. His dolphin's being strange. I wonder why. Maybe he's like trying to find something in the wall. Hey there, dolphins. Dolphin I missed that big jump. Oh man, it was so cool. I was right next to it. I know. It was weird. He just like went. He jumped in the air? Yeah, but for no reason. This one's like hanging out right here. Hey dolphin. I thought he was going to wave at me. Maybe he is. Did he say what was the matter with that one dolphin over there? No, he was talking to the other guy about, he asked him how tall they can jump and he said they can jump up to 300 feet. But killer whales. Hey said, dolphin. Oh, Oh. Killer whales have jumped up to a thousand feet. A thousand feet? That's what the guy said. What? I don't know. I didn't really believe him. But that, that's... Impossible. That's like... A hundred stories. Look. I, how much did he say dolphins could jump to? 300 feet. I don't think that you could jump 300 feet. That's 30 stories. This, that guy is lying to you. Stop. Maybe we should go it really to him. is. That guy's like, dolphins can jump 300 feet. 300 feet is 30 stories. That is 30 stories. That's, I'm not, it, I didn't say it. The guy who works at SeaWorld said it. Aaron, that, guy, that guy needs to be fired. Well, it's his job to be at the dolphinarium. And he the was, dolphinarium. <laughs> Welcome to the dolphinarium. <laughs> That's what it is. That's, don't believe everything you hear, kids. He works here. Yeah, well, he's doing a bad job at it. Oh. Dolphins cannot jump 300 feet into the air. Maybe three. Maybe he was like, how deep can they go? No, he said jump. That's terrible. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. They'll, they'll sell you your picture from inside of a snow globe. That's cute. These guys are diving for pearl pearls. Right I like that guy. He, he's like running out of air. Let them Hurry up. Like to purchase an oyster. Then they'll dive down to the bottom and grab two handfuls of oysters for you to choose from. That guy's like, are you it's taking your job doing something? I'm running out of air. You can find, Look at this they lady. Say, the uglier the oyster, the prettier the pearl. <laughs> After you pick your ugly oyster, we'll bring it over to the shocking station. For a I feel like they should use a different word other than immerse because we're going to go swimming with the sharks, apparently. <laughs> Birds! Going into this bird cage is like going in on a Star Trek. You have to go through like a an airlock. Real ripped off. We're in the shark encounter, and the very first fish that I see is not a shark. It's those things. Uh, did you know? Uh, that you, you jacks some sort of. Look, this guy looks so terrible. I feel bad for him. What? Ninety percent of the shark's um, body is taken up by its liver, and the liver produces or stores oil. It either produces or stores stores oil because oil is lighter than water. It helps them to be buoyant. That's pretty ingenious, but I did actually know that about the liver because one time on the Discovery Channel I watched a dissection of a great white shark. Oh, really? Yeah, it was like a two hour long special. There are no sharks in this tank at all. What the heck? Why is this even in here? That's a lot of lionfish. Eh? Huh? Did you like that alliteration just then? I feel like I made this joke last time, but ooh, barracuda. I want to get these lights in our room. Can we do that? Remember we used to have one? Yeah. Oh, look. You you're so mean. This one? They just, like, he just, like... Attacked that one? Yeah, I couldn't, the words were not coming <laughs> out of my mouth. He just... These are all freshwater fish, and they're called sharks. I don't know, they kind of look like them, I guess. Jen's gonna put her face in the shark's mouth. Oh no! A little teeth. Take it down a little baby shark. I don't know if they're babies or if they're just really small. Oh no, they are, they're babies. What are they yeah. Whoa, little baby sharks are living in there. But what are they, like, what's the outer bit? 
uh, what do you call that when you... Like after birth? Yeah. But it's before birth. What's that called? Like your uterus? It's a no, uterus. it's a placenta. Placenta. But it looks like it's made of seaweed. Maybe it is. Oh, is there like a light here? Can I push this to like... Oh, so creepy! Oh my god! <gasps> my goodness! That is so crazy looking! Are you serious right now? So you shouldn't be scared of great whites. They're docile. This one's not even doing anything. Oh no! Sharks! Finally! Those aren't sharks. Well, there's so many flashes in here. There's a shark. I like that everybody in here goes, Look at that shark! Look at that shark! Look at that shark! We missed it. There was a, a solitude shark that went over that one. Maybe this guy would come. This guy's being all jaws like. Oh. They should probably show us how thick the glass is before we go under there. Uh, we read some or Jen read some information. She said that it could hold 362 elephants. No, the, the tube. The tube. Through, Sorry. With all of the uh, sharks. Oh, really? This is, look at all these sharks. Please immerse yourself in our stingray lagoon. Ding day. Oh yeah, no, somebody threw some money down there? That's not good. The tube that we just walked through though with all the sharks, it said that the thickness of the plastic could hold 372 elephants. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't... How do they know? Because not all elephants right? are the same size. Well, this is SeaWorld. They might have elephants here that they've tested it on. Oh, that poor flamingo is trying to fly away, but he can't do it. And then he gave up. He's like, ah! These mutant Christmas trees are all red! That's pretty awesome. They tried to make this like garden, except for these red trees, look like a, like a coral reef. And it really does look kind of like a coral reef, even with the fish and everything, except for the trees. Oh yeah, look at that. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, a lizard. Right there. This is crazy looking. Where's the brain coral that they were touting about? I think it's supposed to be that. Maybe. <clears throat> no. Maybe. I don't know. I don't see anything that looks like brains except for that. Maybe the rocks? That's like cheating though. Hey squirrel, get out of here. We're trying to look at these sandhill cranes. Oh, look, they're both on look, one look foot. Him, ah! <laughs> oh, he put his butt up at us. What, what a jerk. What? Hey bird, you awake? Maybe that's like the new, you know how Shakespeare used to say that he bites his thumb at you? I bite my thumb at you is like, uh, like I'm insulting you. It's, um, I put my butt hole at you. Oh. Nice work, bird. We're gonna we're gonna get our picture taken with Shamu. Shamu with this kid. She's like running away. She's gonna like hide underneath the tree. <laughs> Bubbles, like a pirate. Their eyes are creepy. They're like peering into my soul. I'm gonna get you guys the full frame flamingo eye right now. Flamingo is. Probably around five foot tall. I feel like he's the king of the flamingos or something. Look at him. He's like, I walk around regally amongst my peers. Well, that was a flamingo fight. There was a ruckus amongst the flamingos. Uh oh. Everybody's super angry. Uh oh. Crazy flamingo fight. Oh, look at that little one. It's like, get out of here. I feel like they're getting angry whenever Manta goes on behind us. What is this one doing? He's like eating dirt. I mean, they could, they could essentially just walk over this, couldn't they? I mean, the big ones, yeah. So why don't they? Because they're scared? Know. Maybe. Look at this one. We, uh, we also came in contact with the wild Disco Liz. Hello! The wild. wild. She's got blue hair, what do you expect? It's <laughs> SeaWorld themed. Oh, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Very cute. What in the world is going on? And they're like, why are all these dolphins... I understand that charging the shore is a feeding thing, but these guys are not being fed that way. They're just like charging the shore. Looks like fun though. The other day we saw manatees being frisky. <laughs> that wasn't the frisky that I was eating. These uh, dolphins are uh, getting frisky. Yes. <laughs> we saw something. Ooh. Dang. Ding dang. He just came out of nowhere. We saw um, dolphin appendages. 
It's like ramming. It was a dolphin. Uh, uh, uh. That was close. What uh? What would you call this? Like uh? It's like a uh, like a mosh pit. Turtle track. I feel like we saw manatees in a better situation than this. Oh. That's what it sounds like when they breathe. By the way, this turtle's getting ready to go on a trek. Ah! Are we flying? Oh, we're flying. Well, there's a lot more sea turtles up here. Oh, yeah. The last time that I was here, I thought that these sea turtles had something wrong with their shell. They don't. That's just how they are. I'll swim with most any fish. I don't think I would swim with that one. It's huge. Are you scared? Ah, uh, no. I'll get in. Manators. Literally the best idea I've ever seen for a door. If you like spices, I guess. Well, this is the spice mill. Oh, the spice mill. Yeah, it's called the spice mill. I like that. In case you guys have ever wondered, we call this a Florida door or an air door. Yay! Yay! It just blows air down. Creates like a sheet of air instead of a door. And a ladder. So, we, uh, I determined that Universal needs one of those nets underneath Rip Ride Rocket because of when Joanna got hit by a quarter during Halloween Horror Nights while we were standing underneath Rip Ride Rocket. I'm outside of Journey to Atlantis. Yay! Splash, splash! I'm waiting. Um, Liz and Tim went to ride it first because, and you guys, if you haven't been to SeaWorld and you don't know this already, you have to have a, a locker for all of these rides and they're not free. Like at Universal, they're free. Oh, somebody was, oh, oh, oh! At Universal, they're free, but here you have to put in, I, I think it's only like 75 cents, but we don't have any cash on us ever. We only have cards and there's not an ATM anywhere in sight. So we had to like tag team this. So I'm waiting and then we're gonna go on it. Tim and I will go on it again. But I'm gonna film them coming down. Those people were looking at me weird for filming. So it made me feel funny. How dare you make me feel bad for vlogging. Here they go. Oh yeah, look how wet they're getting. So wet. Oh no. And then this thing's gonna splash them. Little did they know. They're about to get even wetter. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, I hope this isn't them. Of course it's them. Because it's not zooming in on you guys. It's darn it. There they are. They're prepared to get wet. <laughs> I don't know if Tim will leave in every single time that I filmed not them, but I filmed not them like 20 times and then the one time that it was them, the camera didn't focus in on them. My life. Here they come off the ride. Haha, uh -huh, they look like they got super wet. I shouldn't be laughing at that. How wet are you guys? Not too bad, not too bad. My, my legs soaked. Liz got oh, bad no. because she got, she got water cannon. I, ca I saw that. I was like, ha, ah, they're about to get cannoned right in the face. There was like a little girl that was like, hi, splash. <laughs> <laughs> your, can't, your things are really wet. I know. Are you scared? No, because they recorded the whole time. So. Oh, okay, cool. They yelled at me you about this. You got the wave though. lap. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they yelled at you about the GoPro? Yeah. Why? Well, because they're not supposed to record, I guess. But, the, but you have secret sunglasses. Secret. You said it. You said it so, so Russian. Well, oh, jeez, oh, I can't even get it. So, okay. You said it so Russian. <laughs> secret, secret. I'm FPS Jen. FPS Jen. <laughs> Welcome to FPS Jen. <laughs> Jen's doing the making a sea angel on the aquarium here in Atlantis. <laughs> oh, here he comes! Here he comes! He's he's coming right for you. Yeah. <laughs> He was like right next to your head. See, he knows he's coming for you. Right there. He's your best friend. This one right here was coming up to you though. Oh, was he? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's he's, cool. I, I filmed him right next to your head. Oh. Did you guys see the sharky pose? I mean, obviously you didn't see them because I haven't showed them to you yet, but they're up there. You guys know what creeps Jen out? Eels. <laughs> They're so gross. Look at his look. Look at this one. He looks so scary. Do you remember when we went swimming at midnight, half drunk in the keys? 
I saw a bunch of them. It was fun. I just like, look at their skin. It just looks so... Ugh. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> you, think, so gross. you think these little hatchet fish are in here for them to eat? Probably. I really hope so. I hope we see them eat one. You guys see how long their tentacles are? Look, it's terribly deceiving. Oh, so many tentacles. Oh no, they're stuck up there. Oh, there they go. Okay. Oh, here they come. This is him on this one, their front row. So we look for the. Oh, there they are. There they are. There they are. <laughs> see him? You see him? Yeah. Sweet. Did you feel when they released the Kraken? They Got released it? it? Yeah. Oh. I like how it's like crisscrossed. <laughs> I'm on Liz's and Liz's. Oh, yeah, I know. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Let's try this again. You're both on both. Both on both. Nice. I was able yeah. to get you guys both times. So. I uh, thought I was going to lose my feet. <laughs> Did you like the front row? Yes. It was awesome. Sweet. I enjoyed the front row. Yeah. Nice. I always do. Ooh, Kraken eggs. Let's make an omelet. These are freshwater stingrays. Look at them. Man. It's finally them. There they go. Oh, they look so scared. I'm sorry. Here they come, here they come, here they come. <laughs> to go up all the way like that. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm pretty afraid to ride this one. So Liz, hey. what did you think? It's awesome. Yeah? We're just <laughs> so sitting here now. It's <laughs> definitely laughing from what just happened to me. This is my favorite part of the ride. <laughs> this is our view. Yeah, we've been here for a couple minutes. Uh, oh, there we go. Not so bad. <laughs> we got one ride left in the entire park in this wild Arctic, but it's called Polar Express now. Not wild arctic anymore. It's snowing in Florida right now. Where is it? Can you guys see it? No, of course not, because it's 80 degrees. You liars. Oh, I there it is, right there. Huh? It's happening. Where is it coming from? Look, you can kind of see it in front of this tree. Right there. Where is it? Why is, what does it all mean? Join us for a dazzling sea of trees. It is, look. These are not disgusting Florida ducks. I mean, they're, they're Florida ducks, of course, but they're not the disgusting ones. They're so, like, normal duck looking. I hear you guys like sun chips. And then suddenly, ice skating in 80 degree Florida weather in shorts. Look, they have the actual Polar Express. It doesn't look like a ripoff of Hogwarts or anything. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. It does smell delicious in here. I gotta be honest, and I hope that I don't offend anybody. It was the worst ride I've ever been on. I'm sorry. The uh, technology may have not been there with the projections and the computer projecting it. Dang, they put it all the way to the ceiling. That's ridiculous. Oh wait, is Santa in here already? Look at their Santa. Hey, look. Is that is that Tom Hanks? I hope so. Look at how look at his present thing. He's telling him to believe. Look at him. There are belugas, or at least, oh, there's two. There's one there and one here, right? That's a beluga, that's a whale, or is that just a light? I can tell that this one is. There he is. Oh, there's two. Oh, dear goodness. Yeah. Shit, did, did you ever listen to Raffi when you were a kid? But baby beluga. Yeah, that's what I came up singing over <laughs> Yeah, but this is... Look at that Here's kayak. some water. You see the kayak over there? Come on. Yeah. Oh, nice. oh, oh, oh. This polar bear. Oh, oh, no. Oh. This is a big polar bear yawn. It's a big polar bear yawn. He's like, where am I? And back to sleep. Look at this. His feet are so big. I can't even see his feet. 
That bear will rip your face off. It looks like a manatee. It's a walrus. Yeah, it does look like a manatee, doesn't it? What's it doing? Like he's, he's, yeah. he's, he's like eating walk. something. Now we can see what he's doing. Yeah, he's like, he's Apparently, a nothing. He's a manatee with a split tail. Yeah, that's a dog manatee. Look at these crazy belugas. They're going crazy. Wow, he was like, that was so try, he was so close. Why don't they come over here? Look Jerk. Look at the little tiny fins. He's like the T-Rex of like of underwater. Do you see his arms look like this? Yeah. What? <laughs> he. But he doesn't need long arms, does he? Well, that's, I don't know. You're the science guy. Oh yeah, he doesn't need long arms. Look at all the blue ice or blue ice. It's not blue ice. They're blue Christmas trees. I can't wait to see this place at night. Look at all these candles they got. They're not real candles, of course. They're like wickless LEDs. But look at Shamu made out of grass. Look at how good it looks. I want to see this at night. It is nighttime. No, it's not. Night man. What? Fighter of the dark. Who's that guy from, from Sunny? It's always sunny in Philadelphia. I don't know, but that he's, sounds awesome. He's the night man. He's the fighter of the... Fighter of the night, man. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? All that I know of is Trollfoot. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a sunny, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Do you know what it is? What? The night man? Night. Night man. man. I don't know the words Fighter to this song. Fighter of the sum. You, you guys know. One episode of that show. So. Watch them all. Yeah, which one was it? Uh, the dumpster baby. Yeah. Oh, dumpster yeah. baby. She's like, I just want a base tan. Just a base tan. <laughs> That's DB. DB. Best time to go up in the sky tower is right before SeaWorld closes. We thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips. There's the, the shampoo. Swim around your feet. Yeah. I wish that the window wasn't so dirty so that my camera would not SeaWorld focus on the window. Sea World has a history of fun-filled <laughs> shows, but the excitement usually starts before the show even begins. Be sure to arrive about 30 minutes early to each show. Not only to get a good seat, but also to experience bonus surprises. Prettiest parking lot ever. <laughs> well, we're just about 300 feet up now, and from here you can see for miles and miles. Oh, look, you can see all the dolphins. As the cabin rotates, keep an eye open for the lush tropical places right across the street from SeaWorld. That's Discovery Cove. Convention Center? Oh, yeah. And you swim alongside dolphins. There's the new penguin encounter that they're building. To the east, there's Kraken. The street from sea World, you'll see Aquatica. So that's Aquatica over there. Look for a signature ride. Look at all the red trees and like the the melting icicles. Where is Aquatica? Or not Aquatica, Discovery Cove. As the cabin continues to rotate, you'll get a great view of the oh, newest the attraction, Turtle Track. Encounter gentle manatees. The Shamu show is doing good. There's the ice skating. There's the Clyde and Zemore show right there. Look, guys, it's Christmassy. Oh, <laughs> so Christmassy. I like this crazy music that's playing. It's not very Christmassy, but LED flashing. There's a little uh, guy up there. What do they call that? Gingerbread man. Jennifer, would you like to go into the apothecary? <laughs> Timothy, that's little the bits snow. of plastic. This is. SeaWorld, a conservatory company <laughs> that lets just plastic flow up through the streets. They try not to let it go in the streets, but uh, when you go inside the snow globe, there's plastic snow in there, and then you come out on the streets with it all over you, so you just brush it off. Plastic you snow just everywhere. Brush your shoulders off. Yeah, because you're feeling like a pimp. Oh my goodness, what an absolutely exhausting day. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm Disco Zita, and now it's time to pay the price.